George, my final question for you is, what three specific tips you can give to the job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? I know that we talk about networking, the storytelling. What other tips you can share from your experience that will be important to job seekers? Yeah, I think, um, you know, in terms of storytelling, what I would say on, as a caveat to that is, is get your story out. You know, uh, I think there's this like old saying, I mean, if, if you're doing well and, and you don't tell anybody about it, no one's going to know or care. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. Like you have to have a, it, and it's not ego. It's not like boasting, but as I always say, you're always selling yourself. So every person hearing this is a salesperson. And if you're looking for a job, you need to give a, a recruiters a reason to care about you specifically yeah. out of the millions of people applying for that same role. The second thing I'd say is go above and beyond. Always, always do this. So when I was applying to TMX, man, I spent almost a week, like long hours digging into the company seeing you know like be and being very curious like genuinely curious about well why is this business this way or what my thoughts are for this and how i can improve if i get the job mm -hmm. and then when i come to the interview it's it's not hire me because i'm great it's hire me because i've, I've done hopefully a lot of research mm -hmm. and i think i can be an asset in one two three given my background in one two mm -hmm. three so I'm, I'm showing you very concretely the value that i can provide mm -hmm. the third thing i'd say is when you're leveraging channels like LinkedIn, as an example, a great way to, to, to kind of scale your, your presence yes. is talk about experiences, mm -hmm. right? And I always tell people, like, if, if they were to think of you, what are the three words they, they would think of? Yeah. So if I think of Mayor, what are the, the first three words that come to my mind? Well, it could be recruiting. Uh, it could be, you know, podcaster or great networker. And it, three could be Lebanese, yeah. as an example, yeah. you know? But, but you have to think of these these three words and if you're not sort of sharing these stories or your perspectives experiences mm -hmm. lessons whatever people don't necessarily know what to attribute you to right so if i'm a recruiter i'm looking for a salesperson you, you'll you'll laugh at this man but literally the, the three jobs i got after tmx none of them i applied for online mm -hmm. all of them came through linkedin or my presence on social media and they'll tell me george listen we're looking for a business development person i think you'd be great for the role mm -hmm. well I, and it always makes me question, like, why are they thinking of me? Because I'm always on their radar. Yes. You know, so it's, it's tell your story, be present. I would say, you know, the second one, as I was mentioning, is go above and beyond. And then lastly, just get creative. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last tip I'll tell you is, if, if you come and tell me, George, listen, uh, I'm doing it like everyone else is, right? Like, like what the book tells you, the, the formula, I'm doing it, I'm applying online, I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six. The first thing I would tell you is do exactly the opposite of what you just told me. Yeah. If everybody's running in the same direction, you know, the chances that you're going to find whatever you're looking for is, is very, very slim. Yeah, you'll be just a number. Exactly, exactly. So if everybody's applying in one way, I yeah. would say do the complete opposite. Here's a very quick tip. If you go on LinkedIn, this is more micro. Yeah. You, some, in some cases, the job has the, the recruiter attached yeah. to it, like the profile of the recruiter. Yes. Man, connect with the That's recruiter. Email send them. a note yes. and just say, listen, don't even mention the job. Just be like, listen, I'd love to learn more about the company. Um, I think I can be an asset and I, I'm genuinely curious to, to learn about the opportunities. If yeah. you give me just 10 minutes on a quick call, uh, I'd really appreciate it. I totally sometimes agree. they won't reply, but, yeah. but sometimes they will. So. I totally agree with it, especially on LinkedIn. Everyone is there. You can even find who's the hiring manager and then you can exactly. customize your cover letter if they're asking to that That's person right. specifically. And they will say, oh, he did his job, not just like, Dear hiring manager, I totally agree with that. And with that, George, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you these questions. Uh, and then for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, helping job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. I can share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow uh, another time for a great guest speaker that I'm preparing for you. And George, bye. Hope we can meet one day in person and have a coffee together. Thanks, Mary. Appreciate you, buddy. Take care. Bye-bye.